Okay, stand in the middle of your mat. We're going to start off with a little easy march today. Nice and easy in the shoulders. Okay, we're going to march you up with a knee. One, two, three, knee. And knee. Good again. Up, two, with a knee. And again. Okay, we're going to add on to that. We're going to take our knee, kick, and knee. March with a knee. And a kick in the knee. March. Knee kick. And knee. March. With a knee. Kick. And knee. Knee kick. And again. Knee march. With a knee and a kick. Do it again. Knee kick. And back one more. Okay. We're going to take it up to a balance. We're going to push it back. Bring it in. Open it back. Bring it in. Send it back again. Up. And then bring it down and change. So a little bit slow to begin with. We're going to speed that up next time. Up with the knee. And then open with the hip. Bring it on back. Send it back. Bring it high. I will go a little faster. Up. Back. Knee. Open. Send it back, feet together. Up, back, knee, open, send it back, and then bring it together. And again, knee, back, knee, open, send it back again, and then bring it up. And again, one more, send it back, knee, open the back, send it back, and then the point. Okay, wide with the legs. Okay, now with this one, we're going to swing in three, two, and a travel for two. Three, two, and a travel in two. Three, two, a little travel. Three, two, and a little travel. And again, three, two, travel up. Three, two, and a travel. And again, put it on in. Travel up. Three, two, one, and lift it up and again. Three, two, little travel. One more. And then we're going to take a V step. V down. Step it out nice and wide. Keep it. And again, bend the knees. Low down. And then step out wide. Step back. Now we're going to go here in three, two, Two knees on the same leg. Three, two, one, and then two knees on the same leg. We're going to reach it out and push. Two, three, and then two knees pull down. Three, two, one, and two knees pull down. And again, three, two, one, two knees, pull down. One more, and three, two, one, and two knees, pull down. Now a little mambo coming forwards, and then change. So we're just going to keep that going. Mambo in, and change. And push. And again, step it across. A little turn out with the foot if you can. Step it across, and push. Just say and a shout. 
legs now and the glute press. All right, so I'm bending the front knee. The back leg is nice and straight, but I'm only lightly tucking the toe down. Then you can fly the arms and press. And chin lifts. And really place and up. Good, alright, let's get ready. We're moving it up. Move the two. Step it on out. Push the hips back. Leg out to the side in two. Change legs. Glute press. Alright, find balance again. Bend the front knee. Knee your upper body slightly forwards. And then we'll fly the arms. Squeeze the back side, leg as straight as you can behind. Deep breaths. And again, push and press. Good, good. All right, four more there. Let's go with four, three, two, and one. Let's move it along, taking it two. Stepping on out, one and two. Leg out to the side, extend, change legs, glute press, change legs again, and we're going to step it in. Alright, now we've got this ballet, the ballet plie. The heel is lifted on the back leg. Now with your arms, alternate. So we've got high anterior. And press. And again, control it. Reach. All right, good. Let's travel. Two. Step it on out. In two. Leg out. Push it away. Change. Press it away. Good. Let's step that leg in front. And press. Push and around. Again, push and press. Nice strong arms. Reach and lift. And again, push. Good. And again, keep it strong. Keep that core locked on. Four more there. Go in four, three, two, and one. Let's move it along. In two. Step it on out. In two, leg out, push it away, change legs, move press. Good, all right. Then we're going to bring that leg round in front. So I'm going to use the outside leg. One and two. Now, here, we're going to step back and we're going to lift the toe. I'm going to round and back. Now I'm going to bring the hands in towards the heart. We're not going to use them on this one. All right, going slowly at the middle, at the, at the moment. We're going to take it round, back, around, back. Tap, tap, in front, behind. Press, good. Last, four, three, two, one. Travel. And press, step it on out. And press, leg out to the side. Glute press, push, bring that leg around, one, two, then back, in front, we're slowly again, back, in front, and again, back, in front, and faster, back, front, tuck, touch, forwards, back, so we've got a little bit of a working there for the inner thigh, We'll turn, elbows wide, press, good, in, four, three, two, and one, let's travel, step your out, one, two, extend, press it away, glute press, lift, then bring that leg around, one, and two, hands to chest, four, Three, two, one, and back. Now, this last one. We've got a little curtsy, okay? But it's going to be a curtsy kick. So, kick, out. 
turn back. So we'll start from the back and we'll tap. Now we're just going to use one arm and we're going to push it away. Press. Push. Hit. Press. We might go the other way. <laughs> and again, two more. Relax. All right, let's go the other way. Step it on out. One. And two. Leg out. Extend. Loop press. Other leg. And pull. Step it in front. Heel lifts on the back leg. Hands to the heart. Four. Three. Two. One. Go behind. Kick. Kick. Okay. Down. Kick. That's it, that's how I'd like you to really go. <laughs> Press, kick it on out. Push, and again, two more. All right, here we go. We've got one more bit to add in. Step it on out, one, and two. Leg out to the side, extend, blue press, push it away. Step that leg in front. Hands to the heart. Four, three, two, one. Behind, kick. Now we're going to stay and we're going to curtsy. So we're going to stay on the curtsy as your last move. And then we're just going to open the chest. Press. And again, push and press. Two more. Feet together. Here we go. Down. Press it away, step it out, leg to the side, extend, glute press, push it away, bring that leg in front, and two, bring the hands in front, four, three, two, one, behind, kick, and then we're going to stay, a little bounce, then down, Open, press, open. Good. Open, press. All right, let's take it from the top. Here we go, lean down and press. Stand to the way, push down, leg to the side. Extend, change legs, do press, push. Bring that leg in front, the heel up at the back. Step it on out, 
push, leg to the side, extend, good press, push it away, bring that leg in front, one, and two, hands to the heart, one, two, three, and four, curtsy, kick, and then pulse it down, down, two, three, and four. Unfortunately, go to the bigger weights. All right. So coming in for something slightly heavier. All right. I've just opted for 15. Okay, today. All right. There's a lot of weight work on these things. So you could actually just have two pairs of weights. That will be okay. Now I'm going to step forward with the right leg, and I'm on my toes on my left leg, and I'm taking it into a lunge. So I want to feel the balance. Through the body, elbows in, bicep curl, lift, put it on in, squeeze, and again, that's it, good. And again, shoulders open, pushing down, and again, staying on that front leg, down, and again, put it on in, rest, keep it strong, pull, and down, good, again, digging down, Back, press, put in, four more there please, we're only going to be doing these things once today, this whole set, with the bigger weights. Now I'm going to place the back heel down upon the floor, and I'm just going to use one weight. I'm going to reach it forwards, then pull it back. So knee bends in front, knee bends at the back, down, and back, a little bit faster. Down, back, back, reach, pull, and back, pull. Just working from one leg to the other, and then pulling that weight back. Press, down, pull. Push on down towards the floor, it doesn't have to touch the ground. We're going that direction, then we're pulling the elbow weight back of the body. And again, in down, pull, and press, down, pull, and get go four, three, two, and one. Now, go to the toes again on the back leg, lean forward, bring the hands from the shoulders. Now, we're going to lean the body weight forward, and we're going to push diagonally, towards the ceiling, push it away, and press. All right, so these are all muscle groups that can take this heavier weight, but if you find you get tired, then just take the weight down. You're obviously gonna be feeling it in that front leg as well. And again, reach it away, diagonal push. And again, press. Keep the shoulders down, stretch the ceiling, Four more there, go with four, three, two, and one. All right, now a little march out in the middle. I'm going to step out to the inner thighs. So bring the heels in together. We're going to take it out, cross, out together, change. Just give the legs a little release in the middle. Now I'm going to pull right, and I'm going to go underneath the knee with the weight. Again, upright row, pull, and change. Step, under. So really turn that leg across, across the body, up, pull, lift, and change. And again, pull it up, cross, and change. Pull it up, cross, change it up. Then again, pull, cross, and change, pull. Again, put it in, take it across, change legs, up, cross. Get two more, pull, cross, change it up, one more. All right, let's have that left leg forward, right leg back, up onto the toes or the back leg. We're coming down in for a lunge. So you've got your hips facing forwards, both feet facing forwards, taking those weights just down to the bottom of your 
your glutes and draw it up. Working on that balance, keeping the body centralized. Down, lift, and pull, and again, keep it nice and strong. Knee dropping towards the floor, and back. And again, keep down, pull, and back. Good work here for the thighs, the glutes, the hamstrings, calf muscles, and the biceps. Put it on in. Get keep going, and press. Pull in. We've got four more there. Let's go with four, three, two, and one. Now place the back heel down upon the floor. Rock. So you're going to forwards and then rock back. So we're going to come down and then we're going to pull it back. Okay, through the middle and then pull it back a bit faster. Down, back. Bend one knee, then straighten the other. Just use that flip-flop effect. Down, pull the elbow back. And again, down, pull. And again, deep down, pull it up back. And again, elbow wide. And press. Lift. Do it again. Down, pull. Lift, press, and again, four, three, two, and one. All right, taking the back round, up onto the toes, front knee bent, and lean slightly forwards. And then push again to the ceiling. If it's getting tough, go singles. That will be okay, all right? If you can go with the double, keep it going. Press. Diagonally up to the corner. Press, reach. And again, press it away. Nice and strong. Keep it going. Push. And press. Lean into that front leg. Should be able to feel the glutes working. Should be able to feel the quads working. Press it away. Go. Go on with four, three, two, and one. All right. Come on down. Okay. Now, I'm going to take us down onto the floor for tricep work. We're going to go down onto one knee. All right. I'm going to use the lighter weights next. So, if we come down, and I'm going to start off on my left arm. It is entirely up to you if you start with your right. That's fine. So I've got my right leg forwards, and I'm going to take my left elbow high. And then I'm going to place that weight to push back behind the body. Now things to remember here. Try and keep the shoulders level. Try and keep the elbow as high as you can bear today. So you're pushing it away, kicking it back behind you. Try not to change the position of your wrist. And you want to push that weight as if there was somebody directly behind you and then you're just encouraging them to stay back. All right, so it's quite a, a good strong extension, pushing it away. That's it, good. Here we go, all into the upper back of your arms. And then also you're going to find you've got the stabilizing muscles across the shoulders working too. That's why I'm going to remind you every so often, drop the shoulders. All right, because they're going to come up and want to take more of the work than the triceps. Four more on that side, please. All right, now we're going to go into a hip flexor stretch. So I'm going to move the back leg a bit further back, and I'm going to take a stretch on that tricep. So I'm going to drop it back behind the head, hold on to the elbow, unless it's easy for you to reach around and find the fingers in which case go for that version. But both versions work. We want to stretch into the upper back of your arm there. And we've got a little bit of a hip flexor stretch coming on here too. Okay, letting it down. We're just gonna switch it around for the other side here. So I've got my left leg forward. Right knee beneath, right elbow up, and then I'm going to keep 
that way back. All right, so again, alignment, shoulders level, elbow high as you can keep it. And we know, don't we? We'll have one side that's stronger than the other. All right, and we always know one side feels a little bit easier. Press. And again, same technique, keep the wrist strong, push that weight away. Keep the elbow tucked in a little bit, all right? So the elbow doesn't point out towards the side. And again, kicking it back and press. And again, up into the upper back of your arm. Get them in. It's good, it's good to work the arms in every way, isn't it? It's good to keep working all the way around. Keeping bone density strong, all right? Which is what we're doing here. A little bit of weight bearing using light weights, high repetition. What we'll find from that is the bone density stabilizes, all right? It's not going to reduce. Also, your bones are working for another hour or so after you finish, all right? So that's what you're doing technique-wise. That's going to carry on for a little bit while longer, even when you finish. And sat down. All right, two more. And release. All right, pop that weight down. Move the knee back. Take your arm up, come into the tricep stretch, either support, hold on to the elbow, or find the fingers behind if that's easy enough. Shake off. All right, all done. We're all finished on this. 